What is up, guys? It's a winner only who that day was here for you. And as always, if you don't know, you will know that over here we bleed black and gold until we are dead and cold. Back with some more news updates that you guys need to know about of your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We are still on course to hit 1.3k by the end of this year. I know we can do it with your help. We've got a lot of things to talk about, including Jalen Dalton going on IR. Surprising, right? And Latavius Murray's stock is plummeting at an alarming rate. Tony Jones Jr. on the rise and more coming up on this edition of the BNG Breakdown Podcast. <laughs> Now, first up, we're going to take a look into Jalen Dalton going on IR. This news comes to a surprise to a lot of us at Who That Nation, including Nick Underhill, the main source and most most well well respected guy who covers the Saints on a daily basis. He broke the news on Twitter that Jalen Dalton suffered a fully torn tricep. No time has been uh, no time has been put out on when this injury occurred. I've been going back to trying to trying to figure out when he suffered the torn tricep. He was at the podium, the post-game interview last night. Didn't even see anything, but it's a surprise to a lot of us. He is now on IR, and that means he is done for this entire season because in order for you to play uh, during the regular season, coming off of IR, you have to make the 53-man roster, the final roster cuts, and then you'll be placed on IR for a short term. But unfortunately Jalen Dalton doesn't get that opportunity and it's unfortunate because he was playing really well last night getting a lot of pressures and he came away with a sack and you know some say what well, he only had to but that really just uh, speaks to the consistency of Jalen Dalton throughout training camp other notable names include Brian Poole and Ethan Greenwich they went on injured reserve so their season is also done and finally we've gotten Marcus Willoughby and punter Nolan Cooney waived as of today. That means the roster cuts are down to officially 80, but look for the New Orleans Saints to continue looking around, maybe look at some trades, maybe look at the free agency, and continue, you know, navigating this 80-man roster spot, you know, filling these holes uh, wherever possible, and especially now that Jalen Dalton is done for the season. Now, next up, we're going to be talking about Latavius Murray and his draft and his stock just plummeting right now. Latavius Murray was supposedly going to be a lot for the number two running back spot with how well he's messed with this New Orleans Saints offense and Alvin Kamara. However, that is no longer the case. There has been numerous reports and speculations that Latavius Murray is now below upcoming running back Tony Jones Jr., undrafted out of Notre Dame. Notre Dame running back Tony Jones Jr. against the Baltimore Ravens posted eight carries for seven, uh, I'd be uh, seven carries for 82 yards, excuse me, and a touchdown. And, and whereas Latavius Murray didn't even have uh, 10 to 10 total rushing yards to his name on, on top of a fumble. And last night's game against the Jacksonville Jaguars, Tony Jones Jr. posted five carries uh, for 24 yards, which is 4.8 yards per carry. Whereas Latavius Murray, he ended up posting four carries for six yards. That's 1.5 yards per carry. On top of that, footage shows that Latavius Murray missed out on a on a on an easy screen pass to the he should have bounced him to the outside. Instead, he cut it back inside and he was stopped short. And Teron Armstead has some choice words for him after the play. It's really interesting to see what happens going forward with this running back situation. It looked like Latavius Murray is looking disgruntled. He's looking like he's lost a step, whereas Tony Jones Jr. is making the most out of every opportunity that he gets. And Sean Payton went on to say in an interview, if he had to pick right now uh, between he and Latavius Murray, he was going to choose Tony Jones Jr. And that's really, that's huge. There's a lot of praise coming from an undrafted running back. Can Latavius Murray bounce back? We'll see. It remains to be seen. Finally, a little my final analysis on the game as a whole. Really, really congratulations to Mark West Callaway for having a really good game. He had, he posted five uh, five receptions off of five targets for 104 yards and two tubs. And Jameis Winston he posted nine of nine out of ten 
for 123 yards and two touchdowns, both going to Mark West Callaway. He showed poise in a pocket, great decisions. The second touchdown to Mark West Callaway, he read the he read the the, uh, the cover zero and he changed the protection at the line of scrimmage to pick up the blitzer coming from the A gap. Uh, noted by Deuce Winham. If you don't know who uh, Big Deuce is, go check him out. But Jameis Winston showed a lot of poise and Taysom Hill, not that much, especially when you consider the extra footage that's now coming out from Deuce and soon, I would say, by Nick Underhill. May be seen if Sean Payton actually goes this route. There are some speculations that Sean Payton is too prideful, has a lot of ego regarding Taysom Hill and what he can do with them. But at this point, in my personal opinion, this quarterback battle is officially locked up and Jameis Winston is going to be QB1 for the Saints going forward. And that's a good thing considering what he's demonstrated so far in terms of good decision making. But that's it. That's all for right now for today's news. It's short, I know, but still still news coming in. I will keep you guys updated on what's going forward. Jalen Dalton, I'm sorry you had to go through another torn tricep. I hope you get back. You were looking really good. I want to see you succeed with this team, not, no, not anywhere else. It's unfortunate. Once again, congratulations to Mark West Callaway on a big night and Jameis Winston on a big night. I I'm, I'm sorry for Taysom Hill for having to go through that on his birthday. It's unfortunate, but them's the breaks. Until next time, and as always, it's black and gold until we are dead and cold. I'll check you guys out later. Listen, man. The world is unstoppable. The world is unstoppable. You are unstoppable. You know why? Because you're going to quit. Look inside. You're going to quit with everything you need to be the force you need. I am unstoppable. Why? I'm around you. I can guarantee you. See, they ain't just in here tonight.